Tis the season for raising a glass, and Chef Bobby Flay knows just what to fill it with. It's Christmas time. That means brightly lit trees, lots of online shopping, and gallons upon gallons of that thick, rich holiday drink, eggnog, usually out of a milk carton. But if you've never had real homemade eggnog, let me break it down for you. It always has milk and cream, and of course, eggs. It's spiked with one of the following liquors, cognac, brandy, sherry, rum, bourbon, or some sort of whiskey, a touch of vanilla, and it's always kissed with an autumnal spice such as nutmeg, clove, or cinnamon, or a combination of the three. This year's version at my house gets its inspiration from Puerto Rico. Think eggnog with coconut milk, dark rum, and cinnamon. Here goes. The first thing I'm going to do is take some whole milk and some coconut milk, about equal parts, some sugar, then a couple of cinnamon sticks, a little ground cinnamon, and a touch of nutmeg. And then I'm gonna take my vanilla bean and put the bean itself and the seeds into the milk mixture. Mix it up just a little bit, and then we're just gonna bring this mixture just to a boil. The history of eggnog is about as cloudy as you'll be after a few glasses of the stuff, so don't nog and drive, especially if you have a heavy hand with the rum like I do. How the name eggnog was born is disputed. Some say it's from the word noggin, which describes a wooden carved mug used to serve alcohol, or that the name was taken from the phrase egg and grog. We know that originally it was a drink consumed by the aristocracy and not the lower classes. Thank goodness that's over. Okay, so we're gonna separate some eggs, the yolks from the whites. We're gonna whisk the yolks until the yolks actually have a nice pale color. Now I'm gonna slowly add a little bit of the milk mixture. And you wanna do it really slowly because you don't want scrambled eggs. Then we're gonna put it back into the pot and we're just, gonna, we're just trying to slowly cook the eggs and thicken the, uh, the milk mixture a little bit. Chill it all down in an ice bath and then add the rum, about eight ounces. So now we're gonna take the chilled coconut milk milk and egg mixture and pour it through a strainer just in case there's any sediment there. It's gonna also catch those cinnamon sticks and of course the vanilla beans. Then we're gonna gently fold in our whipped cream and then our egg whites. You don't have to be a registered dietitian to know that it's incredibly caloric. How many calories? I'm not counting. November through New Year's Day, I don't count, inquire, or even think about calories. I just go to the gym more often. All right, let's give it a try. Thick, rich, and very festive. Feliz Navidad. <laughs>